just woke up after three hours of sleep because uh, I'm actually not going to Shanghai this first day. I'm going to Shenzhou and uh, I landed in the middle of the night and I uh, got a couple hours of sleep and now I need to go back to the airport and go to Shenzhou for a live stream today. I'm feeling lucky today. Doing Chinese Burger King, let's go. So they're wondering if there any where is the inspiration of the solar guitar's design on the behind? Oh, uh, straight up metal. I'm filming you too. Did you take away all the Shepter guitars? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so these are like fridges uh, that keep the right. Yeah, Tim and the moisture control. Damn. <laughs> all right, so I'm in this store. That's uh, what's it called? In, in initialized music. Yeah, initialized music. Initialized music. They have a solar wall right there, and we're about to do uh, a little uh, live stream. Oh, the posters and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot of autographs. I'm I'm used to it. <laughs> right. Oh shit! You made posters for the live stream. Yeah, <laughs> That's you, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 it's good. <laughs> Zhang 6D or uh, it's LTD actually basically pretty similar to uh, this white one right here it has an Evertune bridge after the Shengsu live stream that was yesterday. I think in total there was like 1 million viewers or something like that. It was crazy. 
it was more like a couple of hundreds or something like that. I finally got a full night of sleep. I haven't slept in like two days since I uh, traveled from home. So uh, I finally got a full night of sleep and you know, that at least gives me a little bit of energy again. These type of live streams that they did yesterday, where it's basically, it's a two hour live stream where they sit and talk about products and, uh, and you know, they have an artist come in and play a little bit of stuff like that. It's very common here in China. And uh, funnily enough, because they have different platforms, I had to wear these arm sleeves to cover my tattoos, uh, you know, for one of the streaming services. And that's Chinese law. Uh, no tattoos on screen. On videos and stuff, it was fine. But for live streams, no tattoos, man. So I had to wear these, uh, these arms. Today I'm flying to Shanghai and Music China. Dangerous not to move. Okay. Look at that, that's my view right there. So I just arrived to Shanghai and look at this double room, man. Office uh, for, I don't know what, and then here, the, the big ass bed. I actually have a performance in two hours at the show, so I'm just gonna unpack my shit and uh, bring all my stuff over to, uh, uh, to the exhibition and then we'll see how it goes.
All right, I'm back at the hotel. I'm watching Sunday with Ola draft for Sunday. I pre-recorded Sunday with Ola for this coming Sunday. So, you know, being very prepared now. I had the first performance at Music China. Uh, everything felt uh, insanely awkward, of course, because, you know, a lot of new songs that I'm not used to playing. And uh, also, it was so freaking loud in there. Holy shit, man. Nobody, it was insanely loud in that exhibition. Tomorrow, I'm gonna remind myself to bring earplugs. But yeah, that was insane. But with it being uh, that loud meant that, you know, when I was playing, it was loud too, which is great. Uh, made it sound really good. But I just couldn't hear anything, so I just threw out the in-ears. So now I'm uh, just chilling for a slight second and then uh, I'm going for dinner. Shit, yeah. I woke up at 4 a.m. in the morning, went down to the gym, did the pool. Dude, I'm such a old man. <laughs> Today is yet another day of uh, the exhibition. Another day, two performances, a couple of hangs, signings and shit, and uh, yeah, dude, it's uh, very energy consuming. This show is uh, freaking alive if you compare it to like Nam. <laughs> Just saying, uh, both Gibson and Fender are here. That says a lot. They don't go to Nam. Just nice to see how this show is. This is uh, how shows should be, in my opinion. You can have the smaller ones like uh, Guitar Summit and all that, but. You know, this is more like the, the real trade show that NAM is supposed to be. So yeah, now I'm heading to the hotel. That's my hotel up there. And uh, then same thing again. Have dinner and uh, go to bed, basically. And then repeat tomorrow. But tomorrow I'm going home, so. it's the last day of my trip to Shanghai uh, I leave in the evening today uh, I have performances uh, on the afternoon though so I have two performances more and then if, straight after that I'm heading off to the airport to fly home and uh, I was thinking now in the beginning of the day that I would go into central Shanghai and maybe film a little bit but it looks like this so I'm not sure what to do I mean you can kind of see that skyscraper far far into the distance you can see him but it's not going to be a good day to go up in one of those uh things you know so i don't know or maybe i just stay at the room and jerk off or something
a job. No, no, no. Completely empty. I actually walked off a little bit because I want a little bit of peace and quiet to make this kind of a sign-off uh, moment for the vlog. So that was Music China and uh, the, obviously the reason why I'm going to Music China is because we have a distributor for solo guitars, holiday music in China. It's not the first time I've gone. It's probably the fourth, fourth time uh, that I've gone there and I usually play at their booth. Like I mentioned before, I thought it was really interesting seeing how alive and well that show was, if you compare it to like Nam, seeing that the brands were there, Fender were there, Gibson were there, Ibanez, you know. It seems like the guitar business in China is doing pretty okay. And, uh, you know, seeing and hearing that Gibson and Fender are not coming to Nam, that's a pretty big deal, you know. And also I have to reflect on my little, you know, rig, setup that I have with the chug pedal and the uh, computer setup and my little in-ear solution that I set up. If you haven't seen that video, that's up here when I did all the setup of this rig for this particular uh, Shanghai show. You know, what I've discovered throughout the years of touring and all is that I need an in-ear system. Why do I need an in-ear system? Well, it's just to be able to hear everything I play and the more I hear of myself, the more or the better I play, basically. I, that's kind of like an easy equation. But, you know, bands are better and, you know, you're in pitch. And, uh, yeah, it's just, you know, it's just easier. If you can't hear yourself, how are you supposed to know if, uh, if, if you're in pitch or not when you bend? And I'm doing it on an Evertune bridge, which, you know, can vary a little bit. It's not a constant, like on a, another fixed bridge, for instance. The whole rig itself worked flawless. I used it, it was amazing. It sounded fucking kick ass through that, you know, big ass PA that they had. And, uh, you know, the people were loving it. The only complaint that I have is the in ear system that I bought, that Sub Zero in ear system that I bought for cheap from Gear for Music. It was kind of like a last chance. I just didn't want to bring the bigger Sunizer system that I usually do for, you know, use for touring with the Haunted. But, I learned my lesson. I'm gonna bring that the next time. This small little unit, it was just dropping out all the time. Because of the loud volume of the PA, it was cutting out all the time. So imagine like with in-ears also, you, your earplugs is gonna be fit in the ear. So if something shuts on and off, it's like really like tick, 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 tick. So that was incredibly annoying. And uh, I learned my lesson. I'm gonna bring the better system next time. <laughs> Other than that, it went amazing. And uh, obviously this is the first time I played a lot of these songs. So, you know, it takes a while getting used to. But yeah, I had an incredibly good time. I'm gonna jump on a plane soon. It's way over there. It was a long distance of a walk. But uh, that's my flight to Munich. And then uh, I'm heading home. Hope you enjoyed this little vlog and I'll see you uh, soon in another vlog.